You have known about lead acid storage batteries for years. When learning about battery technology, one of the main things to learn about is achievable energy density. And when it comes to electrochemical cells, the main characteristics to learn about first are the specific capacity, the specific energy density, and the volumetric energy density. In this video, we're going to focus on finding and calculating the specific capacity of an element. Specific capacity when it comes to batteries is most commonly provided as milliamp hours per gram. This could also be represented as coulombs per gram, amp hours per kilogram, and any other assortment. This represents how much energy can be stored in one gram of a given element that is transferable in the redox reaction. So in order to solve for specific capacity in electrochemical cells, this is the formula. First of all, we need to know the number of electrons that can be transferred in the redox reaction, which is represented by the Z. Next, we need to multiply this by the Faraday constant, which is 96,485 and is represented by an F. Multiplying these yields the molar capacity. If we then divide this by molar mass of an element, which can be pulled directly from a periodic table, this finally gives us the specific capacity. However, it gives it to us in coulombs per gram. What we want is milliamp hours per gram. So given that one coulomb is equal to one amp times one second, this means that one amp hour is equal to 3,600 coulombs. This also means that one milliamp hour is equal to 3.6 coulombs. So taking this into consideration, if we divide this specific capacity in coulombs by 3.6, we'll get the specific capacity converted to milliamp hours per gram. To demonstrate, I'm going to calculate the specific capacity of the most common electrochemical cell we have today, which is lithium. Lithium has one electron that can be transferred in the redox reaction, so Z is equal to 1. The Faraday constant will always stay at 96,485. In this case, because the number of electrons that are transferable through the redox reaction is 1, the Faraday constant is equal to the molar capacity, but this isn't always the case. For example, aluminum is able to spare three electrons, which changes this to multiply it by three. Moving on, we could finally get the specific capacity when we divide the number by the molar mass of the element, which in this case, lithium has a molar mass of 6.941. This gives us a specific capacity of 13,900.73 coulombs per gram. But we don't want this in coulombs, we want this in milliamp hours per gram, so we just need to convert it to milliamp hours per gram by simply dividing by 3.6, which gives us a specific capacity of lithium of 3,861.3285 milliamp hours per gram. 